Hello, good evening, this is Diecast Looney and I hope you're all doing well today. Um, I thought I'd do something a bit different. I thought I'd take um, a couple of my favourite large scale pieces. Um, I haven't done anything on large scale for quite a while. Uh, mainly due to the fact that large scale is just so expensive and takes a lot of room up. And uh, I have quite a lot of large scale. I have nearly 200 pieces in my collection of large scale. Um, I started off as a large scale collector many years ago and only recent sort of last year that I've got into the 164 scene, which I thoroughly enjoy. But I just thought I'd take a couple of pieces from a large scale collection just to show. I'm not going to go into, into great, great details about what the cars are specifically. I just thought I'd do two, two of my favourite pieces. Um, one's a 1932 uh, Ford five window coupe. Um, and it's by a company called Acme, and it's known as the, it's just, it's uh, Hammered Steel is the actual um, name of the car, uh, 32 Ford Hammered Steel on the box, and it's uh, limited, I think it's limited to 726 pieces, it's not a lot, um, and they're all numbered, and then the other one is a 1955 um, Willys Jeep wagon, um, and it's made by a company called, I've got to try and remember what the company's called now, um, Road Signature, um, which is owned, actual fact, I think it's, I think they've changed their name to Lucky Diecast now. Um, and it wasn't overly expensive, but it's just a really, really nice example. Um, and obviously the Acme one is quite a, quite a pricey uh, model, but still, we'll just have a brief look. And uh, I've also got one of my petrol pumps out. I've got quite a few petrol pumps in my collection as well. So anyway, we'll take a closer look. So we'll look at the um, the 55 uh, Jeep, Willys Jeep. And um, like I said, this isn't an overly expensive model. You know, I think I only paid about £50 for it. And it's just really, really well constructed. They've done a really, really good job on it, in my opinion. You know, um, I have done video a video on this one. I, I, like um, I thought you could, you could call it an unboxing back when I first started YouTube. And uh, it was quite popular. But this is the first time I've actually sort of got it out and spoke about it. It's got lovely chrome, sort of proper dog dish hubcaps going on. With the uh, sort of, I presume that's the Willys logo. And as I said, I bought this. I just fell in love with the, the way it looks and the paintwork and there's no flaws. Because when you buy large scale models, if you you know they come with flaws just like any other company does, um, but sometimes when it's on large scale, you really notice the flaws, especially in the paintwork. And like I said, this one's pretty spot on. It's got some sort of logo badges on the top of the bumper there, and the headlights look f spot on. They are pegged, but they they you know you can see yourself at detail in the lenses. And it's a hollowed out grill, which is cool. And you've got the badge there. But it's just like I said, it's just a lovely, lovely vehicle. Fuel cap. That's my son screaming in the background. Getting bored by the sounds of it. Like I said, I'm not going to go into massive detail on them. I have covered them before, but I just... I just fancy doing something a bit different for five minutes. And it's all the backs hinge nice. You know, you can sort of, if I can do it one hand, the top lifts up. It doesn't stay up because it's quite a weighty piece, but if we turn it into the light a bit, you can see all the back, you've got the spare. The seats do go down. They can fold right down. But you can't see because my hand's in the way. They do fold. Both of them fold. And you've got like a proper, it's sort of like a simulated, I don't know, it's almost like a textured floor, but it, it looks like wooden, painted wooden panels. Now, whether they would be wooden painted uh, like a slats, I don't know, but it is textured. But um, it could be just the back of the van. But you can see the difference in the back. And then obviously, let's see if we can open the door up. Let's just get 
get some light on it, it's the best thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's simple, but it's nice. See the steering wheel and the gear stick. Perhaps if I spin it around this way, you might be able to see a bit better. Open this door up. <coughs> Sex. See, you got the different high and low box. It's just really struggling for light there. But yeah, it's, it's just done really nice. And again, the seats in this fold as well to allow the passengers in the back. And you got the engine which is uh, I believe it's a flathead four cylinder I have new lights and I just cannot seem to get the lighting right but yeah there you go but like I said it's just it's just really well done like I said for a model that's not overly overly expensive So anyway, so that's the first one. There you go, you've got all the all the diffs and the lead springs and the leaf springs, sorry. Bottom the engine gearbox, transfer box. Yeah, so that's the first one. <laughs> and then the uh second one's this 32 Ford 5 window. Which like I said is by a company called Acme. And uh, I've had this a uh, couple of years now, and it's just it's just a really really well made model, uh, fairly pricey. I forget what I paid for it now, but I paid quite a lot. But uh, you can see it's got all the all the HT leads. You can see writing on the top of the rocker covers there, or the top of the valve covers. Uh, back of the electric fan. The two, uh, I think possibly they're Carter carbs. I'm not sure, can't remember now. But, um, yeah, all the bands, like I said, there's all you can see all the pulley wheels there and stuff. The exhausts are hollowed out. You can see all the brake lines to the front, which would be drum brakes. You've got the lights on the front. The tyres on it are slightly, slightly scuffed on purpose, as if it's been down the drag strip. Now I didn't put the mirrors on this; I kept the mirrors out because they just kept falling off. Because the mirrors you can push in or pull out. The doors swing right up, right open. We'll see if we can get this into the light. See, it's got a piston on top of the gear lever. Yeah, it's just it's just a really really cool car. It actually has a metal and plastic steering wheel. I don't know if you can see the there's like pinstriping on the dash. As I said the light it's getting in the right place. But it's just really cool. There's the back. 32 hammered. There's not a lot going on in the boot, I don't think. It's just metal, plastic, but we've got the back of the fuel tank there. Satisfying click, because it's actually got like little uh, catches that actually catch when you shut the door, which is pretty cool. Let's see if we can get some of the pedals. See the pedals there. As I said the steering does move, um, which is hard to do one on a hand, but it does move. But yeah, it's like I said, it's just it's just a lovely model. And these are a couple of my favourite. I have a lot, like I said, I do have quite a few large scale models. And again, we look at the bottom. And you can see it says uh, Acme, 
seven. This this one's uh, number seven seven two out of I think I'm not quite sure. So it might be seven hundred ninety pieces. It's under eight hundred, but this actual number it says seven two two. Sorry, is um, the actual number of the car. diff there but yeah it's just really cool so that's them too and then there's this like I said this uh, Chevron fuel pump I think it's from the 60s um, sort of you can see what it's made by company it's made by green light you can see all the and the actual side you've got like a little lens light on the side there and you can actually pull these out it's rubberized and plastic and it, you know you can actually sort of so you could sort of in a way fuel your car up so you could sort of turn it around and have it set up as if you're putting fuel in it if you really wanted to but um i've got a collection of fuel pumps as well but this is one of my favorite ones instructions there contains lead there's a weighty piece as well this ain't light but anyway i just thought i'd do something different um back to normal on friday back to doing 164 scale but anyway i hope you enjoyed that bit of a longer video today uh please like and subscribe and uh, all stay safe